Hey guys, I'm back again for another video. Today, I was thinking I would just do the like tattoo collector's tag thingy. I don't really know what it's called or what it is, but it's pretty much just a video where I talk about all the tattoos that I have, get some questions about them, like how much did they hurt, blah, blah, blah. So, and I don't know, I can't think of anything else to make right now. So I'm just gonna make this one and hopefully you find it enjoyable. Um, the sun is setting and I'm scared that it's gonna set before I finish the video, but I'm just gonna talk really fast and then hopefully we can get through it all. So thank you for watching. If this interests you, then keep on watching. Okay, the first tattoo that I got was this one on my ribs. It is lyrics from, rude. <laughs> it's lyrics from one of my favorite bands when I was younger all-time low so it says I'll be fine even though I'm not always right now it's pretty cheesy and it's typical white girl 18 year old tattoo but you know what I got it like on my 18th birthday I really really wanted it it's very sentimental to me I know it's pretty lame it's so typical but whatever I'm happy that I got it it hurt pretty bad but it didn't take that long it looks like shit now also I don't know why like it looked good when I got it but I don't know I always forget that it's there so that's that next one I got was this one on my thigh it is like a girl head with a shark and a crab that one it didn't hurt too bad um, it just took a long time but I yeah like I got my first tattoo and then I was like let's go like full force I dove into it I was like I'm gonna get a big thigh piece um, I really really love this one I love the colors I love how it looks it's one of my favorites and I'm very happy that I have it is there anything on your teeth? there's something in my mouth next I got this finger tattoo it's a moon um, I thought I was going to be super badass and get a finger tattoo. I was like, I already got these two. I'm going to be cool and get one on my finger. And I thought I was so cool. Um, it's also looks like shit. I got it a long time ago. Whatever. It's sentimental to me as well. And yeah, I like it. I mean, it's whatever. It's cool. Next. I got okay so you can see that there's a pattern here I just keep keep making all these poor decisions because I just started getting tattooed I think that I am the best I have no worries and I decide to get my sternum tattooed so this one is a cloud with lightning bolts um, it hurts so bad I can't even it was excruciating um, when I got it, the tattoo artist was like, oh yeah, so like how many tattoos do you have? And I was like, oh, I have three. And like one of them was this, like calm down. Um, I thought, I was like, oh, I already have three. Like I can. And he was like, okay, are you sure you want it there? And I was like, yeah, like do it. And he was like, okay. Cause it's like a very, very painful spot. And I was not prepared at all. Cause I barely even knew what tattoo pain was at this point. So if I could go back in time, I would not do that but i did it it's over thank god it's over it was excruciating um the tattoo is not like exactly what i wanted it to be but i like it now like it's fine i like how it turned out just originally it's not exactly what i wanted it to be but you know it's fun it's good i like it we're living um the next tattoo i got i was like i want to get more on my arms because like i want to show the world that i'm tattooed I got this mermaid. She is so beautiful. I love her very much. Um, this was probably, well, no, I don't know. This is one of my favorite tattoos. I just love the colors again, and she's so stunning, and I like how her vag is out, her boobs are out, she's all out and about, and yeah, there you go. That one did not hurt, like, at all. Okay, next, I got this Lady Gaga inspired skull on my arm. I'm obsessed with Lady Gaga, if you did not know. And this is from her Born This Way music video. Uh, I wish my whole body was covered in Lady Gaga tattoos because I love her. But yeah, I love this one. It's perfect. It's my one of my favorites. I'm going to say that about all my tattoos. 
Not all of them, because some of them I hate, but like, most of them are my favorites. <laughs> Next, I got this rose on my arm. I love it again. Ugh. I love it. The colors are so vibrant. Like, it's pretty old, but the colors are still like, bam. Super in your face, super bright, super bold. I love it. It did not hurt. None of my arm tattoos really hurt that much, because arms are wonderful. Next, I got this horse on my arm. Um, I got that at a tattoo convention. I was just walking past and I saw it on his table and I was like, yes, I want that. It's so cute. So I got that. Um, a lot of people always ask me, why is it blindfolded? And I say, because it's walking in on its surprise birthday party. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. I like it. It's, it's cute. Got my little horsey right there. Oh, my nose is running. Ugh. It's itchy too. Next tattoo I got was this 33 on my arm. This is matching with my sister, my bestest friend. Um, it's got a pretty important, ugh. it's got a pretty important meaning to us. I won't go into it, but it's very sentimental and I love that we got it together. And I think it's cute, so yeah. Next I got this pineapple tattoo probably my most commented on tattoo um, a lot of people like it or a lot of people are like oh that's so cute like I love it and I'm like thank you um, I also got this matching with one of my best why can't I talk it's because I'm trying to talk so fast sorry if you guys think that I like did some fucking Red Bulls I never have drank an energy drink like I've had a sip but I've never actually had a full one because I'm scared of what it will do so no I did not drink an energy drink I'm just have a lot of energy right now and I'm talking really fast. This pineapple, yes, I got it with my one of my best friends. A lot of my tattoos are matching because I just love all the people in my life and I want to like celebrate that. So yeah, anyways, that we got together because we love the pineapple aesthetic, just like most of the world. I got this sunset hand thingy on my leg. Again, this tattoo is like nothing what I wanted it to be. I originally went in and said, can I get like the shaking hands tattoo? Like that's a really like popular traditional tattoo and he was like yeah what if we like put some palm trees and I was like um, okay um sure I don't know I never really like speak up when I don't like something because I'm too shy and awkward which is not a good thing to do like do not do that if you don't like the tattoo like tell them they're not gonna be offended I just kind of like let them do whatever. I like it, it's fine, it's good. I'm just saying it's not originally what I wanted to get. Next one is this horseshoe on my leg. Oh, by the way, this leg one did not hurt. And the horseshoe that I'm talking about right now, it, it hurt actually pretty bad. Like my legs, I'm kind of a baby. Like the lower leg area, it really hurts for me. So I'm like, eh. That's why I like covered my arms and I like don't really want to touch my legs because I'm scared that it's gonna hurt because it does hurt. Um, but yeah, I got this horseshoe. Um, it's whatever, it's fine. I don't really like the bottom of it. Like I wish it was more like flat. You know how some horseshoes are like, got that little thing down there. Mine's like, like a U, which is like, mm, whatever, but it's still fine. Next, I got this girl on my arm with the panther. This is one of my faves. I love the panther. I love how it's like blue. It just pops out. A lot of people think it's a lizard, and I'm like, eh, no, it's not a lizard. It's a panther, people. But, you know, whatever. I just think she's so beautiful. I love the lizard. Oh, my God. So, I'm editing this, and I just fucking realized that I said lizard when I didn't mean to say that and I was just complaining about how people think it's a lizard and then I said lizard oh my god that's so fucking funny okay next I got my finger tattoos I got this four and I got the Venus women symbol thing four is my favorite number I don't know why it just is and then the Venus symbol because girls but next I got this butterfly girl on the back of my arm um, this is probably my least favorite tattoo, not that it's like bad or whatever, it's just not really my style. Um, I pretty much only have traditional tattoos and this one is like almost traditional but not quite, it's like on the verge. Um, it's good, like it was done well, it's pretty, a lot of people actually really like that tattoo but it's just not 100% my style but it's fine, it's still good. 
I always forget that I have it because I never see it back there. It's like hiding. Okay, next I got the um, this don't heart on my ankle. Um, I got that with one of my best friends. We were all salty on Valentine's Day because our boyfriend stitched us to go snowboarding. So we were like, you know what? I'm just gonna go get a tattoo. So I got this one that says don't and she got one that says bye. Cause we were like, fucking don't even try me, bitch. So yeah, that one. That one hurt so fucking bad. It took like five seconds and I was like, this is excruciating, I cannot take anymore. Next, I got this myself heart and my mom heart. I really wanted like that, you know, traditional mom and a heart tattoo. And then I also wanted one for myself because I thought it was cute and funny. So I got both of those on each wrist and my mom cried when I showed her that. <laughs> cute. Next, I got this eagle on my arm. I love it. I love how bold it is and uh, it's exactly what I wanted and it's perfect. And yeah, it's good. Next, I got this stick and poke on my an ankle, on my wrist. Um, it is a cigarette because I'm trash and I was really drunk when I got it. I don't really remember if it hurt. I don't think it hurt, but I don't know. Um, yeah, that was dumb, but it's funny. It's a good story and I like it and it's actually really good for being a like drunk stick and poke. The guy that did it, he's actually like a real tattoo artist now, but you know, back in the day on my couch, it's fine. Next, I got this girl power on my hand. I got that with one of my friends as well. Um, we're both like strong feminists and we love girls and we were like, let's get it because we were besties and that would be cute. So we got that together and it's really great and I love it. Next is my chest. So this is like one of my biggest pieces. Like it took so long, it took like six hours. It was really painful, um, but I love how it turned out. It's really different than all my other tattoos. I really wanted a chest tattoo, like a new event, like I wanna be completely covered, but sometimes I think chest tattoos on girls don't look right or they're like a little bit too harsh. Um, and so I really wanted something like pretty and feminine, but I couldn't think of what I wanted. And then I came across this artist and I was like yes this is so beautiful it's exactly what I want so got that and I love how it turned out it's beautiful next I got this knife on my leg another matching tattoo holy mackerel matching tattoo with one of my friends um hello I think there's a ghost in my house this knife I got with one of my friends back home it's a really fucked up long story that's so stupid so I'm not going to tell you but um I was moving here to Vancouver and we were sad so we were like let's get a matching tattoo to like fucking represent our friendship so that's cool I really like it and then right after that like a week later I got this beer can tattoo uh, it's a pilsner can again classy lady I got this matching with two of my other best friends um, we all three of us got it we got it right on my birthday um, just because we like to drink Pilsner beer and it's funny and we thought it would be hilarious and what a funny way to be like, I have a beer can tattooed on me. <laughs> We're so cool. Um, and then lastly, the last tattoo, most recent one that I got is this panther on my arm. It is stunning. I love it. It's so bold. It's exactly what I wanted. I was saving this area of my arm for something really good. And I finally got to be tattooed by one of my dream artists and he slayed the game. It's exactly what I wanted and it's perfect and I would not ask for anything else. So yeah, those are all of my tattoos. Um, I'm not that tatted. Is that a word? I'm not that, I don't have that many tattoos, um, but I feel like I have like a good collection starting. So I just thought I'd show them off because some of them you can't see and thought maybe you'd be interested to see all the ones I have. So hopefully I will be getting some more soon, but you know, it's really expensive and I don't have any money. So I don't know when I'm going to get another one, but hopefully soon I can get some. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Sorry that I was talking so fast. I just have like a lot of energy and I was wanting to like get this video out. So yeah, um, thank you. 
If you liked this video, give it a like because that really helps me out. And subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions about my tattoos or anything like that or any questions in general and I will 100% answer them. Um, follow me on all my social media. It will be linked down below. And look out for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.